Here's a quick follow-up to last night's video. So watch that one if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, what I've done here is put a piece of my uh, phosphor screen, that x-ray intensifier cassette, inside the vacuum chamber. And so it's wrapped around the inside of this acrylic tube. Uh, and then also on top of that, there's a round scintillator, a piece of glass that's unfortunately had most of its phosphor blown off in a very tragic accident. Uh, but anyway, and then there's also a metal strip hanging down. And the idea is that the metal strip will stop electrons. If really all we're getting out of this is electrons, and there's no actual x-rays inherently being produced, uh, we should see a shadow on that phosphor screen caused by the metal strip because that won't allow the electrons to pass through it. Um, but if the electrons strike the phosphor screen directly, we should get something. Also, I've changed the direction of the tape uh, unraveling so that the, the edge where the actual unraveling is happening is facing the screen. It's not facing the camera. So there should be a line of sight right from the edge where the tape is being peeled to the screen. So I'm going to turn the room lights out again and uh, unroll some more tape. Okay, I played back some of the video from that last one on the camera and I could see that the P47 phosphor screen, the little round disc was glowing, but the screen itself was not. Uh, so this leads me to believe that it's probably just electrons coming off since the phosphor on the, on the glass plate is on the surface of the plate, so the electrons can hit it directly. But that phosphor screen, the, the x-ray intensifying screen is encased in plastic, so the electrons probably never make it to the phosphor. Um, so I've added a little background lighting so that you can kind of see the outline of the P47 screen, the, the disc rather. And I'm going to do another run here. So if you see a shadow on the disc in the shape of that foil thing that's hanging, then we'll really know that it's, that it's electrons coming out of the junction. And the electrons are so low energy that when they hit something, like that metal foil, they actually don't seem to produce x-rays. Um, but let's, let's try it. Here's another setup. Uh, since the X-ray intensifying screen wasn't, do anything, wasn't doing anything, I took it out of the chamber. And so now I've just got the P47 phosphor disc double stick taped to the inside of the chamber. And even though it's hard to see from this angle, the metal strip is between the unrolling junction and the phosphor screen. I've positioned it fairly carefully. So from, this, from the junction where the tape is separating, it should be uh, there are some parts of the, of the phosphor screen that are visible and some that aren't because they're blocked by the metal bar. So we should see a pattern form on the phosphor screen if the bar is actually stopping electrons. So, I don't know about you, but it sure seemed to me that that entire disk was illuminated, uh, which would seem to indicate that the electrons are either high speed enough to go through the foil, or there actually are some x-rays being generated, uh, although very, very weak. Uh, I'm not sure why the x-ray intensifying screen didn't light up. I, I guess we're dealing with extremely low energy x-rays. Uh, but it is surprising that uh, the illumination screen was lit through the foil. Uh, unless, unless the problem is that um, the, uh, the tape is sort of, sort of a very large emission surface and it's, it was going around the foil, basically. It doesn't, it's not emitted from just the junction. So I think for the next experiment, what I'll have to do is put an aperture between the, uh, the tape, between the junction and the screen, and then also put the strip of metal between the aperture and the screen. That way we can know what the emission area is and then be sure that that indicator bar, the foil, is between it and the screen. Um, also, I need a bigger screen, so I think I might hack up a CRT and, and use that. I also need a bigger chamber and other kinds of tape and all that sort of thing, but this is pretty interesting. All right, see you next time. Bye.